in the beginning i was really very hesitant in buying them because you know of the reviews that i've been watching in the video the only problem i see with that one is that i really can't wear it during the summertime um i just don't like how it looks i don't feel comfortable using them like that so i've decided to try another one and now i have a couple of them Hey guys, it's me again, Wilmar, and welcome back to another episode of my vlog. So for today's vlog, I'm going to do another unboxing. I will be sharing with you guys the most recent pair of shoes purchase I have, and it's going to be an exciting one. I consider myself a sneakerhead, self self-proclaimed um, tag because you know, like I've been collecting shoes for so long, and I would have to say that um, in my collection, I have more than a hundred pair of shoes that. Um, the part of it and I had been using on only a few of the things that I really like and I've been actually slowly trying to dispose some some are already being donated to Salvation Army like I've already given some of my shoes in there and then some had been um, shipped to the Philippines when we went home last 2020 so for today's vlog I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the one that I just purchased. I bought another pair of shoes from one of my favorite brands and today I will be sharing with you guys. So um, I actually opened the box already because when I arrived I got excited that I opened the box without recording the actual unboxing. So I will be just showing you guys the box of the actual shoes so this is the box I bought this one not too long ago and I've used this for a couple of times already because like I've bought this one with during winter time because I was thinking of using this um, during the summertime buying this kind of shoes was it took time because um, I have two pairs of this kind of shoes already and then I was just wanting to add another one to my collection which is a more vibrant color. I wanted to add a more vibrant color in my collection and I wanted it to be more colorful colorful from the usual I have which was white and just black. Though I have a yellow green one but I guess this one will just add color to my collection and I will be able to use it during summertime because you know um, I often wear colors during summertime so this will be good so i did have a hard time deciding on what shoes to wear because it was um, a bottle between a gucci another gucci one or another balenciago one. so when i when i was deciding what shoes to buy because like i had three options of um the shoes that i was planning to buy that time when i was still deciding the one that i i was originally planning to buy is i don't know guys if you can see this one it's another gucci Riton, and it just has that um word gucci in it with that lips and tongue i really like this one and i liked it because it's it's a little bit dirty i don't know if you can see the actual shoes is not really white. It was white, but it has some ashes or a shade of gray to it. So you know what? It will be easier for me to clean if I opted to buy it. I really wanted to buy the Gucci one because I know that it is way more comfortable. It is way lighter. lighter. It is way cheaper than the one that I purchased. I don't know, like I just decided to take the Balenciaga one and aside from that the other option that I was thinking of buying was another Balenciaga one but it's a neat sole that kind of Balenciaga one unlike the one you just you don't have to wear like socks because it's already built in the only problem I see with that one is that I really can't wear it during the summertime like um it's good if you're wearing joggers or pants it's it's it looks nice but I don't see myself wearing it and I'm wearing shorts um, I just don't like how it looks I don't feel comfortable using them like that though I saw images like I saw videos in YouTube that they suggest to do the same thing but no it, it's just my preference and, and I'm not really wanting how I'm not really wanting how it looks uh, don't get me wrong this is just only for myself and this is just only my personal preference overall I would have to say that the Gucci or the Nitsol Balenciaga one is way cheaper 
way lighter it's more comfortable when you're wearing them like overall it is way better than the one that i got um if you watch youtube videos and reviews of the the shoes that I purchased, they will say that it's really heavy, it's very uncomfortable, and it feels like you're carrying like a heavy weight from your shoes. But you know what? That's one of the things that I like about the actual shoes that I got. I don't find it as heavy as the other people will say. I actually walk with it very comfortably. I like the weight. It feels like you're working out every time you use them, so I really like that. I walk with them in the malls when I go on my trip before because I only have one before and then I, I use it when we went on the trip so you know like I am comfortable wearing them so yeah um, I'm, I'm pretty happy I would I wouldn't say it was an impulsive buy because of the reasons that I said but you know I'm very happy because I've been using it since I got it without further ado with all the explanation that I have um, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the actual shoes that I've got so this is the actual box well I opened it from the actual box it was shipped in because I was excited all I was thinking before was to just open it see it for myself if I really liked it and then if I don't I'm just gonna have to return it and then just purchase the Gucci right in one or the knits or the other knit sole Balenciaga one but when I open it I'm very pleased I was very happy is how the actual box looks like it just has that Balenciaga logo in there so when you open it it comes with this dust bag and as you guys can see it's very color it's very colorful it's actually a combination of blue red and gray and this is how the shoes looks like I bought myself another triple S Balenciaga sneakers um, I just really like this kind of these sneakers because they are um, very heavy I don't know if that makes sense but they are very heavy I like their weight I like wearing them I like um, walking with them it's very comfortable for me personally and this is how the actual shoes looks like so as you guys can see um the size of it is just been shown in here this is actually one of the weird thing that um the triple s balenciaga has like the the shoe size is written or engraved whatever you call it on the front tip of the shoes and i am actually size 43 for this one i believe size 43 is size 10 us so I'm size 10 US and this is a combination of red, red on the sides and even the shoelace is red, it's a combination of white and red and then the back part it's just blue. So gray overall and it just has that Valencia Valenciaga logo in there and in here too. I don't know if you guys can see. So yeah. And then aside from that, you can also see the word Balenciaga here. So um, you can see from the sole that there is a sign of usage already because I've been using it for a couple of times now. In the beginning, I was really very hesitant in buying them because you know of the reviews that I've been watching in the video. So I've decided to try another one and now I have a couple of them. This is how the actual shoes looks like together. It does look bulky and heavy which is really true but I just like wearing this kind of shoes. So aside from that it also comes with another shoelace. This one is a combination of black and white. The one that's attached to it is the one that I've been using. It's just the red and white. So yeah, the price for this shoes is $13.50. But um, since I'm from Manitoba, I need to add like 12% on top of the $13.50. So I believe I purchased this shoes for more than $1,500. So this is how this triple s looks like if i'm wearing it very comfortable when i'm using them i like wearing this kind of sneakers with shorts 
normally with the short in the shape of red yellow or this blue one so that it matches them and I often wear them with the high socks I, I prefer the white socks because it does I mean it does look better so yeah I'm just wearing a black socks today because you know it's just for demonstration I don't know how heavy are they exactly but I'm very comfortable when I'm wearing them um, I feel like this specific um, Balenciaga Triple S one that I have is a little bit lighter than the other two Triple S that I have because the yellow green and the white one I have they are a little bit heavier than this I don't know why but yeah so this is how it looks like it's really good guys it's walkable and it's very convenient it's very comfortable to the feet for me I know some people say it's really heavy it's so hard to walk in them but for me it's very comfortable and I like them feels like you're working out every time you're wearing this kind of shoes a few moments later and from the Balenciaga shoes that I've shown you guys I'm also be going to sharing with you another purchase I have from Lacoste so I have this box um, I actually purchased this one in the outlet store here in Winnipeg aside from buying some luxury shoes I also love collecting Lacoste shoes because they are very comfortable um, they are ortho light so it's very comfortable to your feet it protects your feet from hurting especially if you're trying to walk miles from miles so I really recommend if you're really wanting to collect some shoes and if you're planning to invest into good quality shoes I do really recommend Lacoste because they are very comfortable and they are a little bit pricey but you know it, it they are a good investment if you we open the box there's really nothing fancy that comes with it well I've worn this once already so this is just the sh how the shoes look like the shoes is called Carnaby Evo 120 and it's synthetic leather it's how the actual shoes looks like it's black leather that just has this word Lacoste from the back with that crocodile there's really nothing fancy about it but you know I've been wanting to have another black sneakers I have a couple of Adidas superstar sneakers but um, I'm not really wanting them I don't like how they look like to my feet and it's not very comfortable wearing them i really don't know what's wrong with there because i like the white ones i have the all white and the white and green but with their black ones it's not very comfortable so i decided to buy another black one and this is how the shoes actually looks like um, they are very comfortable and it's size 10 it's size 43 I like this because it's very simple if you look at the front part there's really nothing special in there and then if you are going to look at the back part then it will say the word Lacoste in there um, I like wearing this one when I'm wearing dress pants or jeans you just have to fold your jeans and then you can just use a low low cut socks and then this will be perfect for your outfit so yeah this is the newest addition to my collection for this kind of shoes originally it was 140 dollars but it was actually on 40 off and i only paid for 84 dollars for this one plus tax so I guess it's not too bad for this good-looking sneakers. So now this Lacoste sneakers, black sneakers, looks like this when I'm wearing them. And also this is good if you're wearing shorts and if you're wearing jeans. And this is how it looks like in my feet. <laughs> there you go again guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog as I did. 
again thank you so much for tuning in i hope you liked it and if you like this video please make sure to hit that subscribe button with that bell to get notified whenever i have a new video like this one thank you again so much and see you again next time bye <coughs>